Damasa, short for Davao Motor Sales, started out as the country's dealer of Ford vehicles. It is now known as a development company in a prime commercial, corporate, and hotel district in the Lanai area. The Mossa is also synonymous with good food, becoming one of the fastest growing culinary communities in the city, with cuisine as diverse as its residents. From a popular fast food franchise to a tiny hole in the wall shawarma shop, there's always something to fill your cravings. Home of the first Starbucks drive through in Mindanao, and a few hidden caffeine gems tucked into unassuming back streets. There's always something delightful to discover in Damasa. Damasa Diary is a four-part series dedicated to the edible offerings along Mamay Road, or as most refer to as the Damasa area. We visit Vietnam with a bowl of pho, feast in the Middle East with shawarma and kebab, pop inside a Korean-inspired cafe and discover everything else in between the district of Damasa. Roger presents The Masa Diary. All right, guys, welcome to the road trip. We get the mouth of the south, Rod Rodriguez, and this is still part of the Damasa Diary series. Yesterday, we uh, visited Vietnam. Today, we are visiting the Middle East. All right, we uh, have our uh, orders here, which are staples when it comes to Middle Eastern food. We uh, ordered beef kebab with rice. Obviously, you get beef cutlets. And I've been here before. I've ordered this for takeout. I think most of the folks here come over for takeout. And I can honestly say these are some of the most tender. Uh, I, I don't know if it's premium or high-end beef, but definitely the way they prepare it, the beef cutlets are tender. And uh, you don't just get the regular rice, of course. You uh, also get uh, Middle Eastern salad, and you get uh, grilled onion and tomatoes to uh, complement your dish. So it's quite an authentic Middle Eastern dining experience. And of course, you can't have one uh, without the other, which is um, the uh, shawarma. Is this a shawarma? Yeah, it's the shawarma. That's the shawarma chicken wrap. All right, so uh, we ordered that as well. And as you notice, the serving is quite generous. So for those of you uh, want to come in here with a friend and you're both kind of hungry and you want to fill yourselves up with delicious Middle Eastern food, that's very authentic. I mean, uh, I'll post pictures here of um, the owner, Mohammed. I mean, you can't get more authentic than that, all right? And I can honestly say, uh, I don't know if I will uh, eat my words later, but for me, this is some of the best, all right? When it comes to... Uh, the beef uh, kebab and the uh, shawarma. So we are here at shawarma and kebab house, right? So of course, why should I not order the shawarma and the kebab, right? So we will enjoy this food. And of course, we are encouraging everybody to check out the Damasa area. Of course, when you say Damasa area, it actually covers the entire strip of uh, Mamay Road. There's a ton of food places here. And again, this is part of a series we call the Masa Diaries, where we will feature some of the uh, interesting food places here and then we will check out another part of Davao City to feature right here on the road trip. So it's time for me to eat. Just eat along with me. Let's go. All right, so uh, I'm going to take a bite out of the, uh, I'm assuming, tender. Actually, no, I already know. I cheated. All right, you can see the bite mark <laughs> of our tender beef kebab. And I don't know how they do it, but the reason why I'm not a big fan of beef dishes generally, especially here in the Philippines, because most of it, we're not talking about Kobe beef. We're not talking about Wagyu or premium beef. So, you know, those things, you can bite through that like butter, but with just local beef, usually it's, um, it's chewy and it's not tender, but the way they prepare it here at um, Shawarma and Kebab House, all right, um, there's a secret to it, I'm sure, all right? Mohammed, the owner, obviously has that secret recipe. And it's seasoned just right. You get generous cutlets of the, um, the beef kebab. And of course, you get this rice. Is this basmati? Mm, I'm not sure, but it's the long grain type. Mmm. And of course, it's also pet friendly. For those who have pets, you can actually bring your um, 
pet dog, pet cat, you know, and um, enjoy your meal with your uh, little, uh, little pets. But I currently don't have a pet, so I'm just bringing along my appetite, all right? So the beef kebab is incredible. It is super, super tender. Oh my God, and I said, seasoned just right. And we have our um, shawarma wrap, which as you can see, Straight to the point, it's not overstuffed with veggies or fillers or extenders or whatever. It's just, you get what you order, all right? Which is chicken and a wrap. And, oh my God. If you've never been here, I highly recommend you check this place out. The food is so worth it. Super accessible. It's right along Mamai Road and the Masa area. And um, some of the best Middle Eastern food you will get to experience at a, uh, an unassuming spot, all right? Plus, if you're lucky, you can walk in here and maybe exchange stories with the owner, Muhammad, who's over there, who's always busy uh, accommodating uh, takeout orders because that's really um, the bulk of their uh, customer base or client base, all right? Is that uh, they get a lot of online messenger and WhatsApp orders and people just come in here to pick up their orders. but. I'm telling you, if you have the time or you live nearby, why don't you drop by and just uh, enjoy your meal and take your time and uh, order some drinks to go along with it. So I am going to enjoy my Middle Eastern meal. This is the uh, shawarma wrap, chicken shawarma wrap specifically. They also offer beef. Of course, they offer a buttload of dishes. They also have uh, the fresh tawuk. They have their beef kofta. They have their... Um, of course, beef, shawarma. Also, if you prefer to uh, enjoy your shawarma with rice, which is the long grain type, uh, for that authentic Middle Eastern uh, presentation, you can have that too. My wife's favorite, the chicken biryani and the lamb biryani, for those who uh, prefer that. And they also have hummus. I'm actually a big fan of hummus. I can dip anything in hummus, all right? Uh, unfortunately, my, uh, my son is allergic to green, to green peas. No, not green peas, chickpeas, to chickpeas. So I have to enjoy the hummus all by myself. What a shame, right? But anyways, we do have falafel as well. They have their salad and yogurt, and they even serve Turkish coffee, all right? And karak tea. So check it out here at uh, Shawarma and Kebab House along Mamai Road. You can't miss it, but um, in case you need a landmark, it's, okay, it's uh, across this little arcade where they have uh, Save on drugstore, well, just close actually, and um, Sebo Massage and all that. So it's near a gasoline station and I think right next to uh, AUB, the, the bank. All right. So uh, do visit the spot and enjoy an authentic Middle Eastern dining experience. This has been the road trip. Again, I have to continue with the food, and Ian, the guy behind the camera, has to eat too. So let's enjoy. The Raw Trip continues showcasing more diverse food in upcoming episodes. A testament to the array of edible choices and experiences awaiting you at the Damasa area and along Mamai Road. So join us for the next food chapter, Damasa Diary.